here we are at Panama City Beach. We're at the spring in the Panhandle in Florida. It's about an hour from Panama City Beach in the, off the Emerald Coast. But it's a freshwater spring. You come swimming here. Just got out. It's a good eight feet deep in the middle. But yeah, it's a trip because there's fish and turtles in there. I was hoping there was, wasn't any snapping turtles coming my way. And then you're just looking around everywhere for alligators. I mean, they said, you know, there's gators don't come in here because it's too cold. And the water's cold. It's 68 degrees. But you also hear everywhere in Florida that has water, there's alligators. So some conflicting, conflicting things to screw with your mind when you're swimming in here. But and nothing happened. It was awesome. Refreshing. The thing is that we're surrounded by forest and the water is really clear, but you can't see it unless it's probably noon or the sun's right up, right above you. But you can still see pretty good. The schools of fish down here and everything. But this is just one of the many, many springs in Florida. Come on, Bummy. See, the water here is really cold. It is, I think, I think it's 68 degrees or something like that. So it's real hard to get, <laughs> it's real hard to get used to. I mean, once you're in, you're good. But getting in, <laughs> getting in is something else. Once you're in, it's, it's <laughs> I guess you're too numb to feel it. But look how clear the water is. This is a good three and a half feet deep right here. And yeah, there are signs over there that say, you hit this sign right here with a rock that says beware of alligators, but they don't, they don't come in here. I think the water's too cold for them or, but at least if they did, you could see them. The water's so clear. Right, Bobby? Yeah, hi. Cold? You. Cold? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, this is another one of the many, many springs in Florida. Some of them are national parks and some of them you just... Somebody showed me a book or had over a thousand of them in it, I think. And they were off the beaten path. They weren't part of national parks. You had to hike to get to them, and you know, this one's real easy. Has nice parking, has restrooms. It's actually four dollars a car to get in, so it's real inexpensive. And then, of course, they build stuff like the ladders, and there's some concrete over there where you can jump into the water, almost like a makeshift diving board. Yeah, a lot of people don't know though, some of the best kept secrets about Florida is the water on the land, <laughs> not at the beaches. Just in case you ever wanted to know why Thailand does not have an Olympic dive team, 
We're working on it. We're working on it. Help me, help me. It's cold. Oh, that's nice. So this spring is named after Punch De Leon, and it's actually the original fountain of youth. When he came, he wrote down in his journal that this was the fountain of youth. Although if you go to St. Augustine, there is a spring there that you can drink out of inside of a small amusement park. Uh, it's like an amusement park slash history park type thing. And uh, that's, not the, that's, not the, that's not the real one. We're sitting in the real Ponce de Leon uh, Fountain of Youth. Like I said, as cited in his journals, when he discovered, landed in Florida. Yeah, the area has a lot of, as you can see, picnic benches, and you can come and barbecue, chill with the family. A lot of shade, which is important in Florida, right? Play some volleyball. The two water sources that make up the spring produce 14 million gallons of water every single day. I mean, you can just tell, look how pristine and clean this water is. It also remains at a consistent temperature all year long of 68 degrees Fahrenheit. The springs are open from 8 a.m. until sunset every single day, 365 a year. So you can come any time. It's great for the family. There's also other activities that you can do. Hiking, fishing, kayaking, bird watching, and then just show up with your family and picnic and barbecue and hang out. It's such an awesome place. If you guys haven't visited any of the springs in Florida, put it on your list. They're number one for sure. I guess that'll do it for this, this video. Catch you guys in the next one. Late.